We're going on to Aries. So you Aries have the Ace of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and you Aries have the Four of Wands, right? These three. Um, so these three cards are about how you Aries have a brand new idea about how you're going to actually go about getting the kind of love that you Aries want, okay? You Aries are going to basically just be a lot more, you're going to act accordingly. You're going to get to know the person, but your awareness is growing, okay? If a person is giving you some serious problems at the very beginning, you Aries are going to actually listen to that. Because the reason why it is I'm saying that, right, is because the Four of Wands. You know what it is that you want. A lot of you Aries would actually like to be in a real relationship, something that is uh, for real, long lasting, and one that actually um, takes you out of your head where you're not always so paranoid or having to think about if the person actually cares about you or not into a relationship that actually, you know, gets you out of your head. Like I said, it makes you feel wonderful. So um, as a result, the Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Wands, you're also going to show a person a little bit of appreciation, right? You're going to actually not be afraid when it comes to spending your money to take them out, right? It's not even going to have to be a whole lot of money. But a lot of you Aries are, are starting to realize that it's not even about the amount of money. As long as you don't spend so much to the point where you're going into the poor house, you're good. There's nothing wrong with actually having to uh, spend a little something, not even a hundred dollars, you know, not even a hundred dollars, right? The first couple of dates are actually supposed to be as cheap as possible, right? Cheap in a sense of financially cheap, but well thought out, right? It's not something to it. It's cheap as far as the value is concerned. It's just cheap in only one area, which is financially. And the reason for that, right? So a lot of you, the reason for that is because you don't want to spend so much of your money with someone that you literally don't know. And a lot of you areas are, are realizing that it's not even about the finances, right? It's not even about what how much a person spends because too often the more they spend on you is the more that they're looking at you like a situation. You understand what I'm saying? Um, so you realize that there's nothing wrong with taking the person out because a lot of you Aries, like I said, your mentality, the way that you approach relationships is changing. You Aries are realizing that it's nothing to, to spend like what? $20 to hang out with somebody if you want to spend the $20 or coming up with something that's free but, but is well thought out, right? And if the person doesn't, if the person wants to take advantage of you, they're gonna be upset at the fact that you're not spending all this amount of money. So a lot of you Aries may be looking at this like a trade-off, like it's okay if it's okay if you ended up losing out on the fifty dollars or lower because the what the fifty dollars represented was actually prices. It's a well spent fifty dollars or less, you know all the way down to no money at all because you just wanted to know a person's character, right? This is what the first date, like I said before, this is what the first couple of dates are about. This is why I just I say that, you know, you Aries got to dub anybody who's who gets so bent out of shape about the first date. You want to go Dutch with the person and the person catching horrors, you know what I mean? Off of that, like, oh my gosh, Anybody that that wants me to such 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 you know to to spend any kind of money, da, 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 you gotta watch out for that. You know, you Aries have to be very mindful of that because when you meet someone who has that mentality, they're already letting you Aries know what type of time they're on. That they're, they're caught up in usury because number one, they're not entitled to anyone's money. That's number one, and number two. Right. Number two, why are they getting so bent out of shape about finances? 
So there's so what what they're saying is that they're setting up a system where they're setting it up to where they're trying to let you Aries know in so many words that th this is what they do. This is how you interact with them. You cannot interact with them on a level where you don't have to actually come out of pocket and spend, which is what? You just said it in your head or out loud. So, you know, this is, see, this is what I'm talking about. It's the principle of it because a real relationship is you give and then you get and the other person gives and gets and it gets and it's soon it gets to a point where you stop counting but in today's world it's at a point where it's almost like you gotta count because if you know because it's like if you don't keep people honest they won't be honest with you they'll just literally just try to do everything that they can to take advantage of you and that's that in on itself that kind of relationship is a dub that's that's lame so the justice and the two of wands justice being libra the opposite zodiac sign a lot of you aries are tapping into your libra energy where it is about establishing peace it's not a it's it's about seeing where the person's mind is from and it, it's about doing things to see where the person's mind is if a person is legitimate about and serious about actually getting to know you, it's not about the finances. It never will be about the finances. Do you Aries want someone that has money? Oh, for sure. Aries people love money. I'm a, I have an Aries moon myself. I love money. You know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, but it, but the money is not the main focus. Money comes and goes and money gets generated in a relationship that is working if the person knows what they're doing and you know what you're doing when it comes to finances the money will come love pays the bills right so the knight of wands now okay the knight of wands you just have to you aries just want to make sure that these people even like you and that's fair you know that's literally what the first three to four dates are about what is does the person legitimately like you what is the main goal of this person is it to get to know you for real for real because they're looking for someone that's real or is it that they're looking to get free stuff if a person gets bent out of shape because they're not they're not getting all this amount of free stuff and these gifts and stuff like this they are a parasite they can say whatever they want to that's the definition of what a parasite is. So the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Swords is about, so a lot of you Aries are learning that to put your heart first and not your wallet first. A person who's not gonna waste time breaking your heart is not a person that you would wanna take seriously anyway because they're showing you that they're no good for you. Off the rip, the only benefit is at least they're showing that they're no good for you Aries soon instead of having to wait until you're so invested and then the relationship implodes in on itself and then you 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 just stuck holding the bag so let's clarify some of these cards the nine of swords that's how you gain intern that's how you gain internal peace let's clarify the ten of cups The Devil, Four of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Yes, the Devil, the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Wands. You legitimately have to ask yourself if you and this person are really going to be good even when they're... Even when, what, you really have to ask yourself what is the main focus of these relationships and count it now. You do have to a certain extent. You have to count at the very beginning, right? Or you have to count accordingly when you see that your uh, significant other or potential significant other is giving less than you. You do have to count to a certain extent. At the very beginning, and not just at the very beginning, but any time when a person 
your your significant other does not show you um any kind of reciprocity you do have to count because they're counting you know so the uh the queen of pentacles and the seven of pentacles is about they're not gonna like it when you count but who cares seven and one eight you can always walk away from them if they start acting like they don't like it because they count in your pockets everybody count in your pockets uh, Aries so why is that you can't you know start looking for reciprocity in other ways or financially or whatnot but just not on the first couple of dates overall you are supposed to get and receive love but there's nothing wrong with both of you being reciprocal that's what you're supposed to do you give they give they got a problem with it got a double but overall you areas are definitely on the right track you're you're starting to know how people move which sets you up for success because you're you're understanding what it looks like when a person is going to just be in your life just to get something from you which is good because it means that you have the advantage over a lot of others okay you're being able to you're being able to better sniff out the problems so that you don't have to spend so much time on it you can literally just see oh this is going to be a problem later on time to bounce that's it comment on the video like the video subscribe to the youtube channel share the video there's a link in the comment section below to a link tree uh, a link tree link so that you can get a personal reading from me right tarot reading or if you want a tarot reading you can contact me at kareemspareworks at yahoo.com